Hello to you, whoever you are, I'm Helena and this is a time lapse of my piece called Pastel Dreams. Just to let you know that I still consider myself a beginner oil painter as I took up oils only about 6 months ago, so I'm still relatively new, learning along the way, experimenting with colors and everything. I was mainly working with graphite before, so I'm very happy that I've learned a lot of fundaments already, because now I can mainly focus on my painting technique and color. As I was going along with this piece, I had so many thoughts about the actual artwork and the process, so I just decided to make a little commentary as I love speaking about art, because of course I love making art with all my heart. Oh, and also I do love speaking English, as it's not my first language, as many of you can tell, so this is a great way for me to practice. This is a fantasy surreal piece as that's my main topic of focus, however, I did also practice some oil realism, so if you are curious, please check out my insta down below. This first layer of the painting is an absolute basic color placement as I'm just laying down the colors so I have a good guide for the following layers. I basically call this a colored underpainting. Absolutely nothing detailed, just focusing on filling out the canvas so the oils have something to bind to in the next layer, which will be of course more detailed. I'm constantly reworking the proportions as nothing is set in stone at this early stage of painting. In the second layer everything is finally getting more polished. I always have a huge relief as I can see that the ugly first layer is finally turning into a properly functioning face and getting smoother. I'm focusing more deeply at this stage as the second layer is gonna resemble the final looking portrait. When editing the time lapse, I have noticed a lot of things I could have done differently or more efficiently and I kind of call myself out on my mistakes, so it is very helpful to watch the whole process of painting this piece. And the editing can get really boring sometimes as I'm editing me painting an eye for a long time. I wanted to experiment with dark background, so I chose this dark blue color named Paints Grey from Gumblin. Yeah, it's called grey, but it has a really deep blue hue. I thought this color would be perfect for the feeling I want to convey with this piece. It is supposed to be a girl in a deep state of dreaming and the dark deep blue should kind of portray the deepness of her dreams. Here I wasn't first happy with the colors of the butterflies as it looked a bit childish before, so I repainted it with only tones of pink, purple and blue and I think I did the piece a favor. Oh well, now I came out of the shower, so that's why the red turban towel. Jesus, it is really disturbing. Now, at this stage, the portrait started to look like a proper portrait. As this was the third layer, it gives me a relief to see that I've overcome the first few layers and I'm finally looking at something more polished. Some of the areas of this piece were really hard to paint, especially the hair in its early stages and the hand. Sometimes you have to get through the boring and hard parts as well, 
It's not all about fun, but also about sweating through some parts. But it's worth it. I can now see that I've struggled with the hair down here and I had to repaint it several times as I was overcomplicating it. And the thing with hair is that you have to approach it as simple as you can, section it and then add the details later. I've always struggled with hair, so I'm still in trial and error process. But as I take more time and blend them properly, section them and simplify them, I'm better off. I always knew I wanted to try oil painting and I have waited quite a long time before I purchased my first set of paints because having watercolors or acrylics was way more convenient, especially because I had only one room for myself as I was sharing with other people until I couldn't take it anymore and had to try it and I never looked back ever since then. I absolutely fell in love with the process. And it is not so inconvenient either as you only need a few brushes, a surface to paint on, actual paints and mediums. And also, the thing with toxicity is not that crazy as they say, just be careful, wash your hands and please do not eat the paints and drink the mediums. I do like to exaggerate colors, that is something I noticed during my oil process. For example, I like to give extra redness to the face as it is making the piece more fantasy dreamlike. I've always been scared of the dark tones, especially around the cheeks where the facial area is very dark. As I'm continuing with painting and gaining more experience, it's getting easier. I guess I just don't want it to look like these girls have a beard. I mean, I find painting and drawing jaws and cheeks areas the hardest, maybe because of the shadows. As I was going along with this piece, I've noticed that the girl on this painting embodied kind of cocky attitude like please do not disturb me while I'm out of reality, I'm gonna keep dreaming and I don't care what you say. That was not the plan, the plan was just to paint a dreaming girl and this expression came along. I wonder if I feel like this lately, I'm sure you could relate, especially during these times as all of us need to be out of reality sometimes, in the dream world, undisturbed in order to be able to cope, right? Sometimes it surprises me how the artwork turns out, you only plan a little, some parts you just improvise and it's very interesting what will come out of it. Certain moods or feelings can come into surface which can represent your inner state or your actual moods or feelings you've been having lately.
When I feel like the piece is finally set, that it is looking solid, is covered with sufficient amount of paint, I then proceed to details, like the lashes and highlights. Before laying down any major details, you really want to make sure that your piece is properly done and looking good. Let's slow down in the details here, as seeing the brush strokes in more slower motion can be really satisfying and entertaining. Okay, so this is the end. Thank you so much for watching and if you would be interested in purchasing prints of this piece, please do visit my first ever Etsy shop which I've recently opened in the link down below. Or you could potentially get the original as well and many more of my art. Bye bye!